Okay, then you need to make sure you try to find a pattern. Okay, last question. The figure below shows a trapezium with a parameter of 96. Okay, I have answers now. I have 21. Anyone else? 21. Okay, 21 is correct. Okay, B, 13 is also correct. Ah, so, some of you can do it. Ah. So, now, but I still have to go through. Ah. So, doesn't mean that I don't need to listen. See, maybe you can find a shorter way to see this. Okay. So, they tell you that, okay, the parameter, the trapezium here, okay, is 96. Figure 2 includes three trapezium but you do not actually use the four sides of the trapezium. You notice that it's not four sides. Some of the sides are overlapping. So this will give you 204 cm. Okay, so far, everybody okay? So I'm going to move on to the explanation now. So let me clear. Okay, now look here. This is 96. This is 204. Okay, I want you to see uh, figure 2. What am I do, going to do? I'm going to split that apart. Pay attention to this part. This is the most important part, okay? Look at the screen. Uh. Okay, the animation is going to start. Look. So I'm going to split this. Okay? Split the second trapezium. Split the third trapezium. Okay? Why? Because... Just now, I told you the parameter of each of this is 96. Correct? Each of this is 96, huh? When you split them up because, okay, it counts in all the parts here. Okay? Now, and this part is no longer joined, so you are counting them because, okay, you are counting individual trapezium. Okay, now, so I'm going to continue here. This will be your PQ. This is also your PQ. This is also your PQ. And this is also your PQ. So you notice the difference between your figure 2 and what I did magically to split up all the trapeziums. These are the extra sites that have been added to the parameter. Because you split them, now they are exposed. So we are adding them into the parameter. So now, just now I got a question, right? I said that each of this is 96. So if I want to find perimeter of three trapeziums, what would it be? 96 times 3, which will give you uh, 278, correct? But you see, just now, figure 2, only 204. Why? Uh? Because 204 doesn't include this part that was originally joined. So now when you speed that up, I need to consider all these parts, okay? The new parts that are exposed. So they are counted as parameter. So when you see, okay, when they are being split up, right? These four sides is all PQ. So the difference between this and 204 is the difference of the four PQs that you see there. So what you will see is uh, 288. Okay, sorry. 288. Thank you. Okay, now, mental calculation not working now. So, 288 is everything includes the 4 of the PQ. So, I need to subtract away. Okay, to find 4 PQ, I need to subtract 288 minus 204, which will give me 84. That is 4 PQ. Then, one PQ will be, that means one of each side, each side uh, will be 84 divided by 4 will give you 21. So that's how you get your answer 21. Is that okay, Ken? Okay, last part already. Uh. We are supposed to find, okay, the next shape. What is the next shape? They have combined four trapezium. Okay, let me share back the screen. They have combined four trapeziums for you to find out, okay, the length. 
they want you to find the length of RS. Uh. So, let's see. Okay, last question here. Okay, so Jia Yu joins another four trapeziums to find form figure three. So, we know that this part here, okay, we already found out the answer. What is the answer? We know this part is from here to here is 21 cm. From here to here is 21 cm. They tell you that the area of figure 3, that means all, okay, here is 1932. So what you can do, I don't know whether you can see this, okay, you should see that two trapezium forms one rectangle and there are two identical rectangles here. Can you see that? Then what I will do is to find one rectangle, which will be 1932 divided by 2. That will give you 966. Okay, so this one done. So with the breath, can you find the length? You can. How? So to find length of one rectangle, I will take 966 divided by 21. Okay. 966 divided by 21, what would I get? So I will get the answer as 48. Okay, so 46 cm here. Now, I need to find RS. Means that I need to find the long side of the trapezium or I can simply find this part. This is also RS. So, I just take 46 minus away, 21 minus away, 12, I get 13. That's it. This is 13 cm. So far, okay. And this is the last question. So, if anybody has any question, please stay behind. Chinka, I still owe you the explanation for the question. Right, let me... Uh, scroll back and let you know the rest of you uh, if you have no questions if you have not sent me your PSLE um, scan copy of your 2023 paper please do send us by, by whatsapp and make sure it's in the pdf form so that we can actually mark it uh, immediately we don't need to convert and then make sure that all the pages are taken nicely so that we can read the writings as well okay so if there's nothing that